After months of waiting, one of the worst kept secrets in the sport was finally made official when Arta Baturbiev and Dmitry Rivol finally had their press conference yesterday. And not only that, but we also got to find out about the Matchroom vs Queensbury 5 vs 5 little mini tournament thing they got going on as well and who will be fighting who. So after years of people waiting, talking about this fight, anticipating it, we're finally going to get it. Arta Baturbiev and Dmitry Rivol are going to fight for the undisputed light heavyweight crown in Saudi Arabia on June 1st. Now for us guys in the UK, I'm not sure how good this news is. Obviously it's good that we're getting the fight, but I was reading something somewhere earlier. It was a tweet from one of them guys on Twitter, you know, like the insiders that are always trying to leak information or whatever, you know, as per sources. And they were saying something along the lines of, essentially top rank wanna put Dimitri Bivol versus Arta Baturbiev on ESPN Plus. And because of that, like it, the fight card's gonna be split. So essentially what I read, at least anyway, was that the zone are going to have the first part of the card, like the five versus five bit, and then ESPN Plus are going to get the main event. But that's not going to be a pay per view for the ESPN Plus customers, but the rest of the card and the zone is going to be a pay per view. So I don't know what's going on there. It's a bit messy if that's to be believed. But the reason why I'm mentioning that and talking about us UK fans is essentially if you look at the fight card with the main one looking to be on ESPN plus they're going to try and put out a reasonable time for ESPN plus viewers so it's going to be late for us in the UK and on top of that the chief support is likely going to be the Zhang Wilder fight because I don't even know why I'm thinking that but it's probably the biggest fight out of the lot other than maybe the undisputed fight so that's probably going to be chief support so when you got like one fight geared towards the American market and then the top American heavyweight on the chief support you have to assume that it's going to be a late one for us Brits and I personally can't stand that so it's a little bit annoying hopefully I won't be all boxing out on that day of reckoning card I was almost drained by the time the main event came around I remember I was like at the end of my tether and it was a bit too much but luckily with this five versus five card there's at least two fights there that if I didn't see I wouldn't lose any sleep over if you know what I mean so that's a good thing it gives me time to break the evening up and not just get caught in this cycle of non-stop boxing as much as I love the sport like too much of it is a little bit annoying I don't really want to go through that so I'm going to go through the fights on the card in order of least significant to most significant or bottom to top kind of thing and for me the least significant and least interesting one for me is Craig Spider Richards versus Willie Hutchinson. Now, hopefully on the night they'll put that in like third slot or something so it give me a chance to have a break and it'll break the night up because that's going to be exactly what the doctor ordered halfway through this fight card. So I could do with that being in the middle but it's the least interesting one for me. I think it's probably a Craig Richards win but I don't really care either way. It makes no difference to me. Up next of least interesting fight for me personally is probably the Nick Ball Raymond Ford one. Now Nick Ball normally has interesting fights or entertaining fights but I wasn't too impressed with his last performance like he should have got that guy out of there. He seemed a little bit one dimensional and that kind of put me off the prospect of this fight because Raymond Ford isn't that entertaining himself so you put them two together chances are it's not going to be the best fight in the world so I'm not overly bothered about it personally. Now one fight I do want to see and I will make sure I'm there for this and watching this one will be Amo Williams versus Hamza Shiraz. I don't really know why I want to see this fight to be honest with you guys. Like Amo Williams hasn't really been doing much recently, he hasn't caught my attention but Hamza Shiraz has. There's always going to be that mark against his name because of the Bradley Skeet performance but since then he's been looking good. He's done a job on Liam Williams the last time he was out and I do think that this guy might be the real deal. So Amo Williams is solid enough and I think that Hamza Shiraz is going to go on there on that big stage he's going to put a beating on Amo Williams and I get this feeling it's going to be an all round fan friendly fight that everyone's going to enjoy I do see it as a Hamza Shiraz Queensbury win maybe even a knockout in fact if I was Frank Warren I would have went with Hamza Shiraz as my captain that being said I don't know who he went with as his captain it may well be Hamza Shiraz but for me he's a heavy favourite going into that fight and the last two fights Daniel Dubois versus Philip Hergovic that can go in at number 4 and then obviously Chief Support Zilli Zhang versus Deontay Wilder. And I'm going to do separate videos on both of them fights, so I'm not going to jump into them now. But overall, I guess it's an okay card. I have to be honest with you guys, Matchroom versus Queensbury, the hype around it, you would have thought they would have picked some of their best. I mean, Eddie Hearn, he's got two fighters there that aren't even his. Are you guys going to say, what are you talking about? It's only Deontay Wilder that's not his fighter. Well, go back to Philip Hergovic pre Mark Demori and the build up to that fight where he was going around telling everyone that he's a promotional free agent you know what I mean so suddenly he's with Eddie Hearn again that doesn't really compute to me it's not really a matchroom versus Queensbury five versus five and it's a little bit disappointing that the ones that, like the true matchroom guys that they picked are actually like average kind of fights they're not even that good of a fight it's like the first three like Willie Hutchinson versus Craig Richards no one in the history of the sport was likely ever called for that fight but suddenly because it's a matchroom versus Queensbury thing we're all meant to say it's a good fight and get behind it no thank you I, I 
they have no interest in that fight as i say i could do with them strategically putting that in a certain place of the card so i can go for my smoke break if you know what i mean top up on the old medicine so yeah just to confirm on june 1st is official now dimitrio arta baturbiev the undisputed light heavyweight crown will go up in the air and either Arta Baturbiev or Dimitri Bivol will be crowned undisputed and us fans will get to find out who is the king at 175. On top of that, we've got a semi-decent undercard with some big names on there, so it should be a fun night. My only reservation is I hope that it doesn't start too late to cater for the US audience. Obviously, that's likely what's going to happen, but I don't like staying up these days, man. I can't really do it, so hopefully they don't. That's all i got for this one, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.